Hello everyone, this is Dr. Lee Howard. I receive a lot of requests on how to perform testosterone injections. I put together this simple video that I think highlights all of the necessary steps for a painless testosterone injection. I hope you enjoy it. All right, everyone, good morning. I'm gonna show you the Dr. Lee Howard method of performing a testosterone cypionate injection for testosterone supplement therapy. So um, this technique is primarily used in men uh, I do my injections once weekly, uh, and I just want to walk you through what we have here. So we have a 1cc lure lock syringe, a 25 gauge, one and a half inch needle, an 18 gauge, one and a half inch needle, our vial of testosterone, four by four gauze sponge, and uh, isopropyl alcohol. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started preparing everything for the injection. So we're going to open up the syringe first uh, and take it out of its package. Um, then we're going to attach it first to the 18 gauge needle. This is the needle that we'll use to actually draw the testosterone out of the vial. So we're going to open that and attach it to the syringe. I'm going to then cleanse the top of my vial. So I want to remove any kind of contaminants that may be on that. So we're going to put some alcohol on our gauze sponge and then cleanse the top of our vial. Now I want to take, um, a 200 milligram injection today. And so I'm gonna, because this testosterone is concentrated at 200 milligrams per ml, I need to take one cc of testosterone or one ml of testosterone. So I'm going to pull the syringe back to about there so that we can um, get the full dose that we're looking for. So. In some cases, you may have to inject some air into the vial just to help facilitate getting the testosterone out. But most of the time, um, after you've done your first injection out of the vial, you won't have to do that. But we'll um, go ahead and put this into the vial. You want to kind of use your uh, needle at an angle and then slowly insert it into the rubber stopper at the bottom. And then we're going to slowly pull back. And the testosterone cypionate is fairly thick. It's, uh, it's in an oil base. And so you can see that it kind of comes very slowly back into the, to the syringe, but it always leaves that air bubble there. And don't worry about that right now. Just pull it all the way back to about one cc. And then we're gonna let that little air bubble just go back in as we slowly push in the plunger. And now the air bubble's gone. And then we're just gonna refill our syringe all the way down to the one cc mark. Now, we're gonna remove the needle from the vial. But the one thing I want you to see is right here, this whole barrel of the needle is actually still full of uh, testosterone. So we wanna, we don't wanna throw that away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently pull back on the plunger. And if you pay attention right here at the hub of the needle, you will see a small air bubble start to enter into that area. Right there, do you see that? So now we know that we've gotten all of the testosterone out of the needle. So we're gonna now safely put the cap back on the needle and remove it. And now we're going to attach our 25 gauge one and a half inch needle. And I usually do this just by holding it in my hand and cupping it tight in my little finger and then twisting it because it breaks the seal. But your needles may come packaged differently and this is just the, the technique for the uh, products that I have. But I'm just gonna attach this needle onto uh, the syringe and now we're basically ready to go and we already have our gauze sponge with alcohol on it so that we can cleanse the uh, area to be injected. Okay everyone so we're continuing with um, with the method for testosterone injection and I prefer to go into the upper outer quadrant of the thigh and I typically alternate my injection sites uh, each week. So, you know, I'll do my left thigh on one week and then the following week gets the, the right thigh. I, I just found that this technique is easiest for me to administer. I think it's also the least painful. And I've tried the deltoid, uh, the, the bicep, um, I've tried uh, the, the pectoralis muscle and the gluteus muscle. And I think at all those techniques, uh, this one is probably the least painful. So the thing that I want you to kind of remember is, and we're going to show you some sort of uh, landmarks that you need to keep in mind here. So the first thing is, is that I want you to sort of consider that you have a crease here at the top of your thigh and that you have a crease here just above the kneecap. So we have sort of two areas here that we're looking at, and we're going to divide that piece of distance or that distance there in half. So that would put us somewhere about here. And now we're going to pretend that there's a line up here 
at the beginning of our leg, right in the middle of our leg as it joins our body. And then he goes straight down to our kneecap, all the way down to here. And so now we've created this line that basically sits like this. So this area right here is the safest area for you to inject. There are no blood vessels in this area or major nerves. So this is the safest piece of real estate for you to really utilize for this type of injection. Now I wanna caution you, as you can see the, on this indentation on my thigh here, this is a where a dense band of connective tissue runs from the top of your uh, femur all the way down onto the uh, tibia. And so this is a very thick band of tissue. You do not wanna go below that. So really you're going from here to here to here, and then no further than where the top of your line is here uh, when you started. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cleanse this area. This is the same alcohol swab that we used before, and I'm just going to remove the cap. I want my leg to be rested so that this muscle is flaccid, that it's not under any tension. I'm just gonna hold the muscle in my hand just by gripping it to hold it steady. And I want you to remember that you do not have to go very deep here. The needle does not have to be inserted to a great depth because most of us only have a small amount of skin on top of our thigh in this area. So we don't have to go very deep and you're gonna feel sort of two pops when you go through. It's gonna be one at the skin and then one going through the lining of the muscle or the muscular fascia. So we're gonna go ahead and pierce here, boom, right in, I felt the two pops. Now look at that, I, I, can, I can tell you that I am below the lining of the fascia, which means I'm intramuscular and I can gently begin to apply pressure on this syringe and we will begin to dispense the testosterone into the muscle. Now with this, technique in using such a small needle and the testosterone being so thick, it does take a little bit of time to perform the injection. So as you can see, the, sip, the uh, plunger is going very slowly. Now I'm not applying a great amount of pressure, but I'm also not really under any discomfort at this point. Like I'm, I really can't feel any kind of discomfort at all. So we're just gonna slowly apply pressure to the plunger. Still, I'm not having any type of discomfort from this. As you can see, we're almost finished. Now, depending on what hand you, or is your dominant hand, what hand you use most frequently, uh, you may have a side that's preferential for you and you can always you know, choose to use one left or right, whichever works for you, but I, I, I can find benefits from alternating. So now we're going to remove this. And I'm gonna hold pressure with my three fingers in the area where I put the injection very firmly for about 30 seconds. And then after that 30 seconds, I'm going to gently massage this area for about another half a minute. And after that, I will have no bruising. And tomorrow, and even in two or three days, I still will, it's very likely that I won't feel any discomfort from having this injection. So that's the Dr. Lee Howard method for doing a testosterone injection.